Hi everyone, I'm Marcel, the co-founder of Trevisto, a cybersecurity company, and I'm coming through with the members of our InfoSec team to present an awesome steganography tutorial. This video is for educational purposes only. We'd like to show small business owners, entrepreneurs, startups, how ridiculously easy it is to embed unwarranted data onto a host or a system. So let's get to it. So there are three essential pieces to the steganography hacking. Whoa, can't talk today. Steganography hacking. Uh, you want to launch OpenPuff, obviously, um, and you want to download OpenPuff before you launch it. Uh, you need to have a decoy image, and here we used a very, very crowded image, and you also want a uh, data file as well. Here we used just a normal text file. So click the hide button, and then enter passwords into A or A, B, and C, and here we uncheck uh, all of uh, B and C, and then we enter the A password. And then onwards from there, what you want to do is you want to navigate to your text image, so your data file. So here we navigate to our data file to input it or import it into OpenPuff. And then what we do after importing it into OpenPuff, we go ahead and we find the decoy image as well. So we navigate to the decoy image and import that into OpenPuff as well. So once we do that, we go ahead and perform the steganography, or actually we go to the location that we want to place the file in. Then we perform the steganography. It'll be successful, hopefully for you guys. And then you have a status report, uh, and then you can navigate to wherever you put your, uh, your decoy file. And then you can see that the data has been input into this file. So. That's how ridiculously easy it is uh, to have more than what you bargained for when you download an image from, let's say, like an image sharing uh, site. So what we want to do as well is show you how to unhide the data. So you download the file and you click the unhide button. You enter the password that you initially chose uh, in the beginning, obviously, and you click all of that information in or uh, put input all of that information. Then you want to navigate to where the decoy file actually is. And then um, you, after, after nav navigating to where the decoy file is, then you choose a location to place the separated data and the decoy file. When, once they separate, then you click unhide, it'll perform. You go into wherever you put your data and then I, literally it'll separate and you'll see that you have your decoy file and your data. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this is just to raise awareness, obviously for demonstration purposes, to show how easy it is to download something that you obviously didn't want or on a host or a computer. If you'd like to learn more about steganography and uh, how you can protect your networks or incorporate human forensics into your security policies and uh, I would say organi organizational framework even, uh, just call us 774-987-9210. We're based in the USA, uh, based in the East Coast actually, uh, or email us at hi at trevisto.com. You can also tweet us at treasure trovist. Uh, and any questions about this video or any hacking questions can be forwarded to hack at trevisto.com. I'd like to give a special thanks to Chanel uh, of the InfoSec team for actually making this. And again, my name is Marcel. I'm the co-founder of Trevisto. Thanks for watching. And we hope to collaborate or hear from you soon. Thanks again. Bye now.